Hello and welcome to Player in the Bin, a game show where we take Linny Tharis's fine ass, stick him in a bin full of ice cold water, and ask him a few questions. Doesn't really make sense, but it doesn't really have to. Without further to do, let's find out who's joining us in the bin this week. It's Owen Nesbitt! Owen Nesbitt! How are you, mate? Uh, not too bad, a little bit cold from uh, training, but... Yes, good. Owen Nesbitt. Has anyone ever told you your name sounds like a character from a Roald Dahl's book? No, which one? It just sounds like it would be from one. I've uh, read the BFG, but... And Matilda, but apart from that. No, 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 but now you say it, yeah. It does, it does. Would you like to tell the people at home, the kind people at home, what you do for a living? Uh, I'm a teacher. Uh, primary school teacher, year three and four. So you're quite intelligent then? I wouldn't say intelligent. Seven times eight. Fifty-six. <laughs> Let's get him stripped off and get him in the bin. Welcome back. I think it's safe to say Owen is probably the best shape player we've had in the bin. How many grams of protein do you eat a day, mate? Approximately, oh, 250. Oh, two grams per kilogram of body weight. <laughs> totally he's intelligent, isn't I? Let's crack on. Question one. Would you rather be like Sam Langford no. and obtain the ability to talk non-stop about yourself or have hair like Ginger Joe? I would, I would say Ginger Joe. I've been on the receiving end of Sam Langford's chat and it's not nice. It's one of the worst things I could ever wish on someone. Not nice at all. Definitely the hair. Ginger Joe wins. <laughs> question two. What's your favourite film? Oh, I would say tough question, but it's an easy one. Toy Story 1 and 2. Toy Story 3, a close runner. After that, Lawless. <laughs> then Gladiator. Guy knows his films. Question three. How do the squad, apart from yourself, who would be the best candidate to repopulate the earth and why? I would say... Tuna, Craig Tennant. The ability he's got is unbelievable. Looks like an average guy, but he's not. And if we had more people like that in the world, they're underestimated. They do serious damage. Good answer. Global warming would be just a myth if Tuna ran wild, yeah. Question four. What would you be called if you was a rapper? Naughty Nez. <laughs> <laughs> Na Naughty Nez or Nezodactyl. Nezodactyl. <laughs> If I was a dinosaur, there's a dactyl and there's a saurus. Few face tattoos as well to go with it, do you think? About down the neck or behind the ear, that's all I would do, but not on the face. That'd look good, that would. That'd look really good. Too pretty. Question five. Being a teacher, which squad member would you least like in your class as a pupil and which one would you most want in your class? Sam Langford least because he, talk, he just talks nonsense all the time. You'd ask him a question... And you just, you just speak pure rubbish all the time. You won't, be, you won't get any work done. So, him least, most. Um, I, I'd probably go over Jack O'Reilly, hard worker. Um, always always wants to do more. That, that's just me. That is just me. I am, I, I'm quite a giver. Question six. Yes or no? Pineapple on pizza? No. Definitely not. There we are. Question seven. If you didn't play rugby, what other sport would you play? Um, rackets or squash. I had my first taster um, a few weeks back. I'd probably go for that quick game, and I haven't got the best of shoulders. So, yeah, kind of like that game. I don't think I'll last in rugby much longer. I don't know, mate. You're looking in cracking neck these days, I have to say. Tuna and rice. Question eight. Out of the squad, who do you believe would make the best referee? Um, Dylan. Um... Doesn't do much but talk. Got to be quite fit to be a referee, mind. I mean, Dylan is... Mm -hmm. I changed my answer. Um, <laughs> pro um, Alex Burton. He's got a rubbish haircut. Um, and he looks like he could annoy people a lot. So probably Alex Burton. Burts. Sorry. Question nine. What would you say is your biggest achievement to date? We're getting deep with questions today. I'd probably say qualifying as a teacher... That is definitely my biggest achievement. Worked hard for that. 
I would have thought it would be some like bench 200k or something like that. But no, he's gone with the teacher. 150. <laughs> 150. <laughs> Question 10. Who's the best out of the half you've ever played with? Jack O'Reilly. Right, thank you all for watching. It's been a very cold night and you're shivering, mate. You all right? I'm quite cold. I'm ready to go home to bed, watch catch up on I'm a Celebrity. Low body fat, see? It's no good for you, really. You need a bit of timber on you to keep you warm. Well, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all again next week. Bye. Davo. Bye -bye.